What's up everyone, it's Michael Bidoza of Blading with Chef Knives and it is the Saturday before first Sunday and I try to let everyone in on the journey that I go through to make these events happen because it's not simple. Kind of a big deal because uh, LA Taco did a little thing on the whole Filipino taco craze movement. Uh, it's actually gotten to a place where I have more demand that I can supply from just one person. Um, you know, there's things that I do want to finalize with the menu before I start to work out uh, an entire system and hopefully I can get there. But I'm just taking it day by day, just trying to make sure I can stay afloat and provide a good customer experience um, along with just quality tacos and making people happy. Thanks for sticking with me. Um, this journey is kind of a dope one, so excited for you to be a part of this. Let's go get ready. It's these two boxes that have all the food supplies, store my tacos in these little trays. I want to say that's enough for the event. Um, uh, those lids don't even work. Little sabao cups. Hello, wrong size. Okay, this is why I came here. Are these dirty? Low key, they look like it. Yes. So, add that to the laundry. That doesn't look bad. This probably should get wiped down. Oh. Um, to start off, I have to clean the tablecloths from the last event. Cool thing about this washer is that it's all half based. Isn't that cool? Just gotta wait 28 minutes. While I do that, I gotta get this garage cleaned. Alright. We're gonna go to Smart and Final to go buy all the sodas and make sure that all the drinks are together. I just clocked in for the AFCO thing, so I'm gonna go do my nine hours at the end of the day job. And then after this, um, I'm gonna, I gotta grab a hold of some cheesecloth and then we're gonna try to make some machada. I got to make trips to the garage and she was losing her mind because I just got home from work and I didn't want her to lose her mind. But uh, what I'm trying to say is I got cheesecloth and I got some Sabao cups for the event. What do you say, Olive? Is that okay? Oh, she's so cute. Sunday. It's 12 o'clock in the morning, so it's Saturday morning by three minutes or whatever. Um, I started putting together the chicken and I realized that the one key ingredient I'm missing is a jalapeno. So I need to get this in the oven tonight. I can't let the chicken just be at room temp. Uh, it just puts in that temperature danger zone. So there's a Ralph's that's kind of sketchy down the street. I'm gonna run over there and Just part of the game of trying to get this event going. So that Ralph's trip wasn't too bad. I came up with some other stuff that I forgot that I needed, but I got apples, I got jicama. Just kidding, these are limes. Apples, and then I got my two jalapenos that are gonna make the best, juiciest chicken adobo. Got my jalapeno. It adds a little bit of that spice that people don't even recognize needs to be there. And it's one of those things too, if I take it out, you'll notice it. So uh, I'm gonna put some foil over this one. Uh, we're gonna slow cook it, maybe six to eight hours, but I'm spent. I need to go to bed and I'm just gonna let this cook overnight. And then pretty much when you'll see tomorrow, We'll crack it open and it'll be buttery soft. It's gonna be like super delicious, I can't wait.
Alright, good morning. It's been five hours since I last put the chicken adobo in the oven. Um, but look at this. So, as I break this apart, you can just see how buttery it is. I mean, it's coming, in, it's coming apart at the spoon. Look how beautiful that is. You see that? With a spoon! With a spoon! It's like butter, bro. <laughs> it's so good. Mm. I'm excited. F that's good. <laughs> okay, let's go. Oh my god, that was so good. <laughs> oh my god, this is so good. I'm so excited. That's like the best thing to wake up to. I can't wait for people. This is just the chicken adobo. People like sometimes like overlook it because it's chicken and they're gonna want the other thing. But the pork sea seeds will probably just be just as great. So, dude, that was so good. All right. So what I'm trying to do here is I need to keep this food cold uh, or out of the temperature danger zone for another 24 hours. And all right. So the secret here is to pour from the corner. And seeing as to how full it is now, I don't know if that's gonna fit that in the pan. <laughs> um, we'll figure it out. It's five o'clock, 5.13. I still need to do the pork, and I haven't even done that. Uh, I gotta start cutting the onions and the apple hickle and stuff, so it's gonna be kind of a rush right now. <laughs> yeah, kind of sweating it. Should be all right. <laughs> in the morning July 3rd and I always set my alarm clock for 6 30 a.m. but it's 6 a.m. I think I'm just a little excited uh, there's still a ton to do um, I have to I have to chop the pork still um, I have to cut cilantro and then I have to load the truck um, so yeah it's kind of so we're we've been kind of scared about this event we don't have a permit um, and typically for these skate park events, we were just kind of thugging it, just doing it. Just kind of scared. We don't know what the, if the park's going to be mad at us or if someone's going to get mad because there's an event or if there's a permit, it's going to be a ton of people. <laughs> um, but we just want to have a little 4th, 4th of July celebration. Oh, did I tell you that Charter Spectrum News is going to come through? They hit me up. They want to hear about the tacos and all that stuff. And so as long as I can give them an hour of setup, some tacos being sold and getting some skate park footage, should be good. It's an exciting day today. Well, uh, 
That's the taste of success. <laughs> that was a good event. Surprisingly, we didn't get uh, tore down, broken up. There was no one who snitched on us. I mean, the security guard was there and didn't do nothing. Um, great turnout. Uh, sold some tacos, made some good stuff. It was really cool. I did that interview with uh, Spectrum News. Uh, shout out to Natalie. And I'm glad she liked them tacos. She got to, and I'm glad she got to experience the blading community. You know, that's not, you kind of have to be part of like the right niche to understand what that really family is. And it was, it was awesome to talk about what we do. That's kind of my perspective on how I get ready for Banger Tacos and an event. Uh, even to at the event, it's hard to film because as the chef, I have to manage everything and, um, you know, making sure that I have everything and I'm really just a one man show. Um, Aiden comes in and helps. Uh, he's more of our cashier and, you know, there's still a lot of training he needs to do. Um, but, you know, it's a good job for him. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, thank you to the family and thank you to everyone else who helped out. So shout out to Project 35, One Trick a Day, Grind Rails. <clears throat> this event would be nothing without you. Cheers. Uh, uh.